guys what's going on i hope you guys are well i hope you guys are staying safe i hope everything's good wherever you guys are guys i've got a two-part video so guys teddy atlas uh whenever there's a big fight you know he gives his take and a lot of times his takes you know he look he speaks his mind but his takes can be pretty controversial i've got a good a message from my friend richard uh and richard said that teddy atlas has said that canelo alvarez is overrated he said uh canelo is overrated and teddy atlas has a has a uh, loves to say people are overrated i mean he said that about aj not so long ago after his fight and said that aj is overrated and canelo and i, I don't think he's ever been a huge fan of canelo he's always criticized canelo i mean in terms of uh in terms of you know canelo being getting gift decisions and canelo uh getting favor you know being favored by the system by the boxing system because of his star power uh and i think uh he kind of he kind of did the same thing with uh floyd where he felt like any fight that was favored by the system um that he kind of he's harsh on and i think he, atlas has his favorites i remember when he tried to make out that lomachenko was this that and the other and then lomachenko got beat uh by lopez i mean uh but t sometimes people have their favorites they like who they like they stylistically like a certain fighter and they big him up they they give him a lot of credit and then for teddy atlas he he liked lomachenko so he was very praising of lomachenko um but nonetheless for me uh lomachenko was a good fighter a quality fighter but again you know some might say he was overrated but Teddy liked him. And this is why people shouldn't get upset about people's opinions because everybody has their own opinions. Uh, do I think Canelo Alvarez is an overrated fighter? No, I think Canelo Alvarez has fought a lot of good fighters. He's fought a lot of great fighters. And, you know, he's had tough fights, you know. I don't think I don't think Canelo Alvarez, I know some of you say that he's more skilled than Usyk and this, that and the other. He's not. He's not. <laughs> he hasn't got the natural talent that some of those guys have got. And also... Uh, guys like Usyk have come through the system. They've come through the system. And what I mean by that is their grounding is much better than Canelo's. And what I mean by that, he's come through an amateur system. Um, he's won two Olympic gold medals, something that Canelo's not done. You know, that, that look, at, look at all the great fighters of the past. You know, Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali. You know, all of these guys won Olympic gold medals. They came through the Olympic system uh canelo hasn't that doesn't mean you can't be great manny pacquiao didn't come through the olympic system and look at what he uh achieved many other fighters you know didn't come through the olympic system and went on to achieve great things um but i don't think when i look at canelo alvarez when i when i think when i think of what canelo alvarez has achieved i think it's phenomenal bearing in mind when you look at him from the eye test he doesn't look as good as Usyk. for me he doesn't from the eye test he doesn't look as good as Usyk, but he's achieved more than Usyk or even more. I mean, in the sense that when you think about his pro career, what he's done, becoming undisputed. And like I said, he's not the most gifted fighter you're ever going to see. He's got power. He has got slow feet. Like there's, there's, there's weaknesses in Alvarez's game. There's no doubt about it. There's stamina. There's definitely a stamina problem there. Not a Joshua level stamina issue, but there's also slow feet there. Uh, yeah, those feet have become more educated as he's got older, but the Bivo fight clearly showed, I mean, that, you know, he can be outboxed still, you know, and um, that was, and yes, he gave away a lot of size and we get all of that. We get all of that, but I, 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 I don't think the size difference was that much. Like, I, I think Canelo could, I think if Canelo, I don't know with Canelo, it's a difficult one because I think, I think Canelo could have beaten Bivol. Like I don't know. It's, it's, I felt like I feel like Canelo hasn't looked the same. Like although he's been getting through these fights, I think he looked good against Smith. Uh, he looked good against Jacobs. But there's been fights where Canelo hasn't like looked great. I mean, like the Kovalev fight. Although he got the job done. See, Canelo's been winning and and getting the job done. But at times he's not looked impressive. Do you know what I mean? When you look at Usyk, most times he looks impressive, or a Crawford, or you know, they look special. They look like Canelo doesn't look as good to the eye test, but Canelo gets the results. He gets the results. However, the Bivol fight kind of showed few weaknesses in his game. I mean, we can say that Canelo Alvarez is probably taking risks that maybe no other fighter is taking. So he's leaving himself 
more exposed. But then I would argue that I'd counter that and say, well, not really, because Usyk's taken risk. I mean, Usyk's jump from cruiserweight to fight Anthony Joshua. I mean, the size difference between AJ and Usyk was pretty similar. I mean, it was pretty. I mean, pretty similar to Canelo Bivol, if not more. I mean, look. Usyk, I mean, Canelo's what, 5'9", five, 5'8", five, and Bivol's like 6 feet, Usyk 6'3", Joshua 6'6", six, six, about the same, And but then look at the size difference, I mean, you know, the Usyk must be like naturally, I mean, probably 30, 40 pounds less than, than Joshua, so, I mean, that was a big jump, and now Usyk is going to fight Tyson Fury, if he beats Tyson Fury, I mean... And and even Crawford beating Spence or Crawford going up and fighting Charlo, if Crawford does that, then you'd have to say that these things are in line, if not greater. Like if if Usyk beats Tyson Fury, I mean that cements his legacy as for me one of the greatest fighters of this of of ever. Like I I generally do believe it. If he beats Tyson Fury, I mean, I think Usyk will go down as one of the greats greatest of all time. But like I said, I think Canelo. Is a great fighter. I don't think he's overrated. I mean, to call Canelo overrated is absurd. I think Canelo has just taken a lot of risk and he probably bit off a bit more than he can chew against Dimitri Bivol. I think he bit off a bit more than he can chew, but I I I I think when I look at it, I think Canelo Alvarez, what he started his career at 140, but he was very young. Canelo Alvarez was for me started his career at 154. That was when he was legit fighter. Um, is Canelo Alvarez now? It depends on who you're comparing Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez isn't as talented as Roy Jones. Um, he isn't on that kind of. He isn't that that gifted. I mean, yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say with Canelo. I I think Canelo's not overrated by the slightest. But if you start comparing to Canelo to like Roy Jones and some of those guys, it's hard. I don't think he's as good to be honest. I think he might be. Might, I think he might be more consistent. And he might, and he's, and in terms of winning, he's won a lot of fights. Uh, he's done, I mean, becoming undisputed. But I think there's limitations to Canelo. Um, you know, I think Canelo's beatable. Uh, and he's always looked it. He always, always has looked beatable. I mean, you can beat Canelo. Whereas, like, people like Roy Jones, when he was in his prime prime, I mean, that man was unbeatable. Like, Canelo's never looked... Um, there was a period when he was fighting Saunders, Caleb Plant and Smith. But again, was it down to the fact that the, the level of competition at, at that weight isn't that great? Uh, when he stepped up and fought Dimitri Bivol? I mean, Bivol... And he was favoured to beat Bivol. Should he have beaten Bivol? In my opinion, yes. In my opinion, he should have beaten Bivol, man. I think Bivol's a good fighter, but if... That's why I think Canelo needs to fight him and beat him because I think that's going to be a knock on his legacy, really. Um, we'll have to wait and see, man. I, I rate Canelo. I rate Canelo very highly. He's one of my favourite fighters, but I, I don't know. I don't know. To call him overrated is absurd, but at the same time, you know, is he is he going to be rated when he's when it's all said and done as good as Roy Jones and that? Probably not because he doesn't look as spectacular as those guys did. I mean, Roy Jones looked spectacular in his prime. I mean, you know, he was a phenomenon. Um, Canelo, does he look as spectacular as that? No. Um, I don't think Canelo's going to be rated higher than Floyd even, to be honest. Um, and that's just, I think, how the the majority of boxing fans will look at it, to be honest. I, I, don't, I don't think when his career is all said and done... If he beats Benavidez and beats all of these guys, and maybe I, I still don't know. I st thing is, I don't, I don't think Canelo can do anything in his career where I think people will say he's better than Floyd. I, I just don't think people will give him that credit. I think the only way he'll probably have to do that is if he beats Usyk or something, because most boxing fans hold hold Floyd in very high regard, uh, and the fact that Floyd beat Canelo, even though Canelo wasn't in his prime, I don't think that will. I don't know, man. I don't know. Canelo's done a lot in the sport, but sometimes a loss, it's, it's crazy. Sometimes a loss can diminish you so much. But is Canelo overrated? The question, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But it depends. Everyone views things differently. For me, when I look at it, I think right now, I would have to say Usyk is the best fighter. Then I would say Canelo. Then I would go Crawford. Um, I think Canelo's body of work is probably better than anybody. But if I... On my eye test, I think Usyk's the best fighter in the world. I think Usyk is special.
Uh, Usyk is special. I mean, Usyk's got great footwork. He's got a great chin. He's got great stamina. Like, there's not many flaws in his game. Maybe weakness to the body, but let. Uh, but again, Canelo's got weaknesses. I mean, stamina issues. I mean, he's got footwork where he at times can be outboxed. So, I don't think. I think. I think Usyk is. I think Usyk is literally very close to flawless. I think Usyk is close to an unbeatable fighter we have today. Maybe Anue is looking spectacular, but again, I don't know, and I'm going to come on to Anue. I don't know whether Anue's competition is, is that great. That's another thing. And Anue doesn't really get a mention when he should because Anue has been looking spectacular. I mean, apart from the Denaire first fight, he's wiped everybody out. I mean, there are about four fighters, you know, Crawford, Usyk, uh, Canelo, uh, that I think are special uh, uh, that deserve to be up there. But for me right now, if I had to pick, I would have to say Usyk for me is the standout guy. And if he beats Tyson Fury, I think he, I think he cemented his legacy. I mean, I think that would be some achievement. Um, but that's my take. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. But I want to go on and talk a bit about Anue and Butler. Anue will be fighting Paul Butler um, in December. That's been confirmed, and he, he's looking to become undisputed. Uh, Anue. Like, no disrespect to Paul Butter, Butler, Anue is going to become undisputed. I don't think there's any stopping uh, Naue Anue. Um, I I think Anue, like I said, re was took, moving on from the Canelo stuff. I think Anue is one of the best fighters in the world. The fact that this man gets overlooked, he's a phenomenon. He knocks people out. You know, when at the smaller weight classes, you don't really get a guy with a knockout merchant. That's knocking everybody out, especially at those weight classes. I mean, it's very difficult. Most fighters, they have tough fights where they go back and forth but to see a knockout artist down at those weights I think it's very very refreshing I think that's why Anuwe's got although I don't think he's as big as he should be I think he's definitely got he's definitely made a name for himself and the reason why he's made a name for himself is because he's knocking people out he's very exciting to watch he's explosive he's 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 a fighter that people like to watch for me I I think this guy has potential to become a superstar. The only problem is with Anuwe, he, he doesn't speak English and, you know, he doesn't have the charisma like a Nazim Hamed, who was a knockout artist, even though I think Anuwe is, uh, I think Anuwe is better. I think Anuwe is more fundamentally sound. I think Anuwe, I think he has great technique. Um, but does he have the charisma, the character? Maybe in Japan, Japan, I think he'll be massive. I think there he's already massive. I mean, he's a huge star there. But I think globally, I think in America, you have to have a little bit of character. And I think that's that's going to be something with Anuwe that and top rank are going to find it a struggle to get him out there. Uh, they they found it very difficult with Terence Crawford because Crawford wasn't really a character. Uh, Lomachenko, I don't think Lomachenko's ever been on pay-per-view again and not, not really a character. Tyson Fury, they've been pretty successful and he became their marquee fire because Fury, he's char he's charismatic. He's got he's got the energy. He's got he's got it. He's got it. You know what I mean? Whereas uh, guys like Anuwe, as good as he is, um I I I just don't think he I think he might not appeal to the audience because of the fact that he doesn't got that kind of charisma, but I think Anuwe and Butler, it's a great opportunity for Butler to become undisputed. Um I think uh, Anuwe will knock him out. Uh, maybe in the first couple of rounds, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think it's... I don't really have to disrespect any. I don't think it's that a competitive a fight, but I hope Butler wish him all the best. Uh, I think Anuwe is just in a league of his own. And no disrespect to Butler, I just think Anuwe is special. I think Anuwe is one of the best in the world. He's up there with the Canelos, with the Usyk's, with the... Uh, um, with the sorry, the Crawfords. I mean, he's up there with those guys. He deserves to be mentioned, and I think he does get... Uh, avoided i mean i mean he does get definitely disregarded from that list but i definitely think anue what he's done uh the fact that as a smaller guy like i said with all the knockouts that he's produced i definitely think he deserves and he deserves to be mentioned in in amongst uh the greats of today for sure uh but yeah leave your thoughts let me know what you think in the comment section below about the video uh i'd love to know your opinion i'm pretty sure some of you are going to disagree with me some of you are going to agree with me but I want to know your opinion. I want to know what you think about the fact that Teddy Atlas is called Canelo overrated. I mean, what you, what's your opinion on it? What's your what's your thought on it? It's hard for me to... He's not overrated, but um, it's hard for me to kind of... Like, w w who are we comparing him to? Do you know what I mean? That, that's what I mean. Who are we comparing him to? So, yeah, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.